Minasan konnichiwa! This is Tina and welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to be talking about the Japanese skincare products that changed my skin forever. If that sounds like your thing, then go ahead and channel toruku shichatte kudasai. So when I first started planning this video, I was like, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but no, I honestly think these products helped me develop a passion for skincare and also allowed me to take care of my skin and kind of learn about self-care at a really early age. So I personally started using skincare probably when I was about 15, 16 years old. I am now 27, so it has been over a decade since I have been doing this kind of skincare thing. And before even trying Western skincare products in Australia, the first skincare products that I ever got my hands on were actually Japanese. The reason for this was because I had this image of Western skincare being really expensive and the packaging wasn't that appealing to me, at least the ones that I could afford which were drugstore brands. Whereas in Japan they had so many cute looking products at such an affordable price that even me at the age of say 15, 16 could afford. So obviously my passion for skincare grew from Japanese skincare and that is why there's probably products that made a bigger impact on my skincare journey that are Japanese products over kind of Korean or Western brands. First is a product that I've mentioned so many times and since the very beginning of my channel I'm sure you guys are probably sick of hearing it but the Biore Perfect Oil. Obviously I could not do this video without mentioning this guy. This was my holy grail cleansing oil for the longest time. If you saw my Japanese oil cleansers comparison video you will have seen that this is no longer my favorite but the Muji cleansing oil is although this was the first cleansing oil I ever used and still something I have around 10 years later so that is saying something so I really do pride myself in double cleansing from a very early stage I didn't do it every single day but whenever I will make up even when I was like 16 and stuff I always made sure to double cleanse so this was a product that introduced me into removing my makeup before cleansing with a water-based cleanser Especially when I was a teen and younger, you hear the word oil and you were like, because most people in their teenage years are oily and you just want to get rid of any of that oil, especially when I was growing up. I feel like Mattify, everything was on trend, but this is the most lightweight cleansing oil that doesn't leave any greasiness, any stickiness onto the skin. And that's probably why I continue to use it and really, really liked it even at a young age. Now, this isn't my go-to cleanser anymore, but it is the product that introduced me to double cleansing. So it definitely changed my skin for the better from a very, very early stage in my skincare journey. So the next product kind of links to the first one and it is self foaming face washes. Now the Senka one that I have here is not necessarily my favorite and the one that kind of changed my skin I just don't have it at the moment but I would probably say the Biore Marshmallow Whip the self foaming one was that first face washing product that I was like yes I love cleansing my face and I'm going to double cleanse for the rest of my life. So initially the name of the product and the ad intrigued me. So it's called Marshmallow Whip, the Biore one. And literally the foam is like marshmallows and I saw the ad and I was like, I need to try this. It looks so freaking nice. <laughs> so Japan always pushed to cleanse with a very light fluffy foam. It's just been part of the kind of beauty regime for a really, really long time. I know nowadays, um, Mostly across the world, like gel cleansers are more popular because priming cleansers can be drying to the skin. But in Japan, it was always encouraged to wash your face with like a fluffy foam. So for a lazy teenager who didn't really know how to kind of foam up face washes and that, a self-foaming one was so, so easy. As you guys have probably all experienced a self-foaming foam, it automatically makes a really nice fluffy foam for you. So I was like, yes. I'm on board, I'm gonna use this. And yeah, that's how I started double cleansing. That was the norm for me. Like I really didn't know any other way to cleanse since I was introduced into skincare from the Japanese market and double cleansing has been a staple for literally the longest time. And I can definitely say that when I was a teenager and going through high school, I honestly did not get that many breakouts. Like I did get the, 
you know, normal on the forehead, like especially when I had a fringe and stuff. But in the grand scheme of things, I never really went through like an acne phase. And I think it was because I was cleansing properly with a face wash pretty much every day. If I wore makeup, I would double cleanse. And then even if I didn't wear makeup and that, I was definitely washing my face with a self foaming comb, which I feel like definitely helped keep my breakouts at bay, especially when I was a bit oilier as a teen. These days I don't recommend self foaming cleansers as much because they can be drying, especially this Senka one. I do think it is a little bit drying, but the um, Hadarabo self foaming one I still recommend. It is very gentle and non stripping to the skin, and I definitely like to use self foaming ones in the morning when I don't have time since it is really quick and easy. Next one is another one that maybe you can predict is going to be in this list, but it is the Hadarabo Goku Jun lotion again a product that is loved by so many people it is a keshosu which i taught you guys how to read keshosu in my how to read japanese skincare video it means toner or lotion in japan they do tend to call toners lotion but if you want the proper term in japanese it is keshosu so a toner or lotion is a must have staple skincare product in Japanese skincare routines, especially these days or in Western skincare routines. Toners or lotions are not that common and a lot of people say it's unnecessary, which that's totally fine, but I will probably continue to use toners for the rest of my life. It is probably my favorite skincare product, which I feel like is definitely not a common opinion. What are they called? A common opinion? No, a common... What do you call them? An uncommon opinion. Uncommon opinion? Yes, uncommon <laughs> opinion. <laughs> but in Japan, if you're going to use any skincare item, it is going to be toner and a sunscreen. They are the two kind of top things I would say that people look for in Japan. Obviously, toners mainly concentrate on hydration, but they can be beneficial for other things like brightening, um, skin texture, um, moisture, and all of that. Although, yes, the number one focus is hydration, which is obviously perfect for me because I do have dehydrated skin. I literally remember to this day my first interaction with this product because I got it when my best friend was using it and the reason why, I don't know if this is true, but she said the reason why she got it was because she was obsessed with Matsujun from Arashi. If you guys know, it's a Japanese like idol group and there is a member called Matsujun and this is Gokujun and it is the same kanji or like um character for his name and she's like i bought it because it's like matsujun this is the one i saw you choose because i like matsujun i was like oh cool i don't know this product i'm gonna try it out and she got me onto buying it as well thank god i tried it because obviously other has become one of my most favorite brands to this day and i remember sara used to use just this this was the only kind of skincare product she used and she has really really sensitive skin and she literally just layered this like a few times and that was her skincare routine and honestly her skin's pretty good so i was kind of convinced to try it to be honest i don't like the original Gokujun as much and especially when I was a teenager it's quite a thick lotion so I felt like it was a little sticky a little too much on the skin so I went for the light version of this and then I also went for the Shirojun as well the Shirojun has like a watery version too so I liked both of these and from trying this toner started my love for toners and I'm so glad that I always incorporated toners in my skincare routine I think hydration if you keep it up has so many benefits to the skin that you don't really realize in a sense. It keeps your skin plump, it keeps wrinkles away. Like I'm only 27, like I talk about like it's old, but I think I'm doing all right for my age. And I feel like my skin has definitely kept its like plumpness and I will definitely thank toners and hydration for that. So thankful that I met Hadarabo Gokujun and Keshosi and the brand in general, but this is definitely a product that changed my skin forever for the better. Holy shit, the next one is a big one. <laughs> Again, we can't have this video without Japanese SPFs or sunscreens. Again, two that I've mentioned many, many times in my video, the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence and the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel. <sighs> If you have never tried Japanese sunscreen, like get on it right this second, especially if you are someone who doesn't like sunscreen, doesn't like the smell, doesn't like the sickness, doesn't like the way it feels on your skin. It is a whole different story when it comes to Japanese sunscreen. And if you haven't tried it already, please do 
please please i beg you just try it out <laughs> these days even western brands are releasing amazing lightweight sunscreens although japan has been on this for such a long time since i was a child they always had really really lightweight usable sunscreens this is because japanese has always always been pro spf it is basically part of the culture and a beauty standard in japan to have fairer skin i think it kind of stems from like Geisha and michael san where they have like white makeup on and that was kind of like the beauty standard from literally hundreds and thousands of years ago so i actually tan super super easily i feel like a lot of people don't assume that they think i burn but i actually tan very very easily and in primary school i was very dark i was very tan because you know i lived in australia was out in the sun all the time and like only wore sunscreen when my mom was like you have to wear sunscreen but of course i hated it because it felt freaking gross and smelled like crap but when i was 16 my auntie was like you have to wear sunscreen every day trust me on this you will thank me for the rest of your life my aunt is going to be 60 next year 60 years old and honestly she looks so freaking young she has very fair skin and she was kind of into more beauty things than my mum was at the time so i was like yes i will listen to you i will do this and that's when i started kind of looking for sunscreens that i was willing to wear every day and that's how i landed on these guys both of these i bought very very early on they probably were my first sunscreens i ever bought and again still something i buy to this day they taught me the importance of SPF and being able to have an SPF that doesn't feel gross on the skin. I cannot say this enough. It's just so lightweight, doesn't feel sticky. You can't see it. There is no white cast. Obviously, they are chemical sunscreens and some people can be sensitive to them. They both include alcohol, I believe. So please be aware of the ingredients before you try it out. But they are the products that introduced me to wearing sunscreen and obviously i'm thankful to this day because it's like the number one anti-aging product out there so you know what i mean and now the last product we have is the corsair clear turn white vitamin c essence mask i mean not this one specifically but the corsair clear turn mask in general is definitely something that changed my skin forever <laughs> so these ones have been around forever or at least what i can remember and they have not changed at all i still remember this like blocky box packaging and it usually has like a label on top that's quite bright this one was i think it was like yellow or something but it did stand out even in the drugstore and i'm not gonna lie i had kind of forgotten about these guys until recently i used them again as part of my mask a day challenge that i have been doing on instagram if you have not seen it uh go follow my instagram and you can see i have been trying a mask out every single day and giving you guys a quick review i might be done by the time this video goes up though because i was just doing it for the month of september and they're so good <laughs> like they're so good they are very lightly hydrating they're nothing like super super intense but leaves your skin feeling very fresh and plump and hydrated it does prep your skin really well for makeup application and it is a quick five minute mask which i love i love quick masks that you can just chuck on especially in the morning it also does have great ingredients and is free from fragrance colorants mineral oil and alcohol which i feel like is kind of rare for japan especially for a product that has been around for a really long time so yes they are not going to compare to your very high end individually wrapped like nice what is it luxurious sheet masks they are not going to compare to that but for the value you can absolutely not pass them up of course a clear turn kind of sub brand has a lot and a lot of different sheet masks they have so many but in this range the ones in like the block packaging they actually have six different types they've got vitamin c which is the one i have here um collagen hyaluronic acid placenta q10 and tranexamic acid so they have six different types they all target slightly different things so you can choose depending on that and they are 700 yen for 30 sheet masks 700 yen for 30 a month's worth of sheet masks even if you use it every single day that works out to be 23.3 japanese yen per sheet or about 22 us cents sheet you wouldn't even feel bad using it every day and the quality is definitely definitely amazing for how cheap that is 
So last I checked, I think Style Vanna had them for like $7.50 a pack, which is amazing. And if you're in Japan, just go to any drugstore. They literally sell them everywhere and they're always uh, like 698 yen or something. So the reason why I say it changed my skin is because these ones introduced me to sheet masks, which I feel like sheet masks, especially at a young age, is kind of something extravagant and luxury and extra. So that taught me about self-care and about caring for my skin and for myself from a young age and without costing a ridiculous price because i remember when i was like in australia one sheet mask can cost like easily five bucks even from a drugstore and i was just like one time use is five dollars that's a lot for like a 16 year old honestly or at least for me my mum never like bought me skincare and stuff i always bought it with my own money that i earned from my part-time job so to spend five bucks on one sheet mask versus like seven dollars on 30 i was like heck yes i'm gonna do this thing shoot must are so like bougie especially at the time like not everyone did it and i just absolutely love the experience and obviously still to this day I love sheet masks and it's just like taught me to love skincare and myself and to do self-care so I think that's a pretty big life-changing um, skincare moment and yeah still even now these are very good quality for the value and I would highly recommend it for people who haven't tried it yet so I guess that is it you guys those are the Japanese skincare products that changed my skin forever I know it might not be in the sense that this specific product had like a ultimate change on how my skin looked but they are all products that played like an important role or important kind of epic moment in my skincare journey um, I hope you guys can try it out and I would love to know that product that changed your skin forever so please let me know in a comment below and I will see you guys in the next one